So symptoms of a vitamin B12 deficiency are weakness, brain fog, fatigue, pins and needles, breathlessness, uh, things like that. But another symptom or another byproduct of a vitamin B12 deficiency is fear. I sense much fear in you. I remember just having many nights where I would just lay on the bed and just be wondering, how am I ever going to get better? My body just continues to get worse and worse and worse. And that would just play on my mind. And I never, I never had like anxiety and things where that would just get out of control in my mind. I always felt like, okay, I'm present. I understand the situation. I'm not freaking out. But it was just like, it is what it is. I'm not getting better. I continue to get worse every day. And this leads to one logical conclusion in the end. Fear of the unknown, fear of like, I remember watching videos with like people who had ALS and just how they would decline over the months. And because there was a point where I thought maybe I have ALS or MS, um, you know, two different things, but you know, both nerve related. And just seeing how painful some of those endings can be and just like, you know, that would cause fear in me. And fear can be a very motivating factor because it's like, okay, we have a certain amount of time in order to find the solution, to find the answer. Otherwise we're gonna end up like that. Um, fear also, it wasn't just fear of dying. That was the biggest fear, obviously, but it was fear of like, okay, what if I just like level out? You know, what if my symptoms get down to a point where I'm just, I'm so weak and just tired and then it just kind of levels out and it's just like, I'm just living in this state because I would miss playing sports. I would miss working out. I would miss going out with my friends. I would miss traveling. And so it's fear of like that lifestyle too. I also had a fear of maybe God was putting the answer right in front of me and I wasn't hearing it, I wasn't seeing it. I also had the fear of being noticed, like have my symptoms being noticed, like, oh, he's weak, he can't, he can't open a, a lid off a jar, or he's having little, like, tremors right here by his eye, and it's just like, why is it just tremoring like that? You know, just nerve issues right there. Um, you know, just being seen in public, and just like having people, who knows what they would be thinking. Um, so fear of like my symptoms being seen, I was able to cover up the symptoms a lot. Um, not many people would notice who would see me, but I mean, my family could definitely notice, okay, Mark is definitely not as active. He says he's weaker. He says he's really tired. Um, his brain fog, uh, his memory, all, you know, all things like that, pins and needles. He says these things, but can't really see them. Uh, which definitely makes it harder when you have a vitamin B12 deficiency. And if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. It's impossible for other people to know what you're going through. Just like we can't know what anyone else is truly going through, no one else will really know what you go through when you have a vitamin B12 deficiency. And there's a whole point of like learning how to trust my body again. So after I got better after I recovered and my, you know, my limbs were strong again and I could go running, I could go play basketball, work out, got back into, got, got my job back. Um, you know, after doing these things, it was still, it took me a, it took me a long time before I could trust my body again, that it wouldn't give out or just wouldn't start to decline randomly. Because when you're, when you're going downhill for over a year and it's just like, you, you start to not trust your body. Um, so, and then that played into, like, once I got better and once I was able, it took probably about a year to where I could trust my body again. And then it was like, okay, now I can start to dream for the future again. Um, because now I can trust my body. I can relax. All right, now let's start to plan. Let's start to dream. Let's start to imagine what can we do with the rest of the life we have left? You know, let's make it happen. And so thoughts and dreams would start coming back, but I never wanted to entertain those things before because I couldn't trust my body. And so if I can't trust my body, it's like, that's a waste of time to be planning for the future. I'm gonna not be around for very long, so. 
And I also had the fear of missing out, the fear of missing out on having a family, getting married one day, having kids, um, just going through all of life and, you know, experiencing life and all of the amazing moments that life offers. And I didn't want to miss out on that. I wanted to experience those things. And I, I mean, I, I got to the point where I thought I was going to die. So naturally I'd miss out on all of those things as well. And, um, that was, that was also huge on my mind. Uh, but we got better now. Still single, so still looking. <laughs> I would like to hear some of the things that you guys go through. What are your thoughts? What are your fears? Hopefully you've healed and recovered um, and those fears are behind you. But, you know, I think it is important to be vulnerable and to share, you know, what you're going through just so people can understand. And it helps to get things off of your chest and have other people hear those things. So if you feel willing to do it, we'd love to hear, um, you know, just some of the things that you, you go through, some of the fears that you have. And yeah, we are all here to support each other and to help each other get better. So yeah, if you haven't, go ahead and uh, click subscribe. That really helps support the channel. If you have any friends who are having nerve-related issues, maybe send them here, show them my story. Um, you never know. I've, I've had several people who have shared um, this YouTube channel or their stories and um, the symptoms and it just happened to be that that friend had a vitamin B12 deficiency so you just you never know um, but yeah you guys are awesome I love the comments I love interacting with you guys so yep yeah. take care God bless